Hello guys, how are you? So in this video I'm going to show you guys how to install One US 7 Android 14 officially manually on any Samsung phone. So right now I'm using a Samsung phone as you can see. It's a Samsung Galaxy A05s. Let me show you first. As you can see this is a Samsung Galaxy A05s phone. And now in the software let me show you this is running on one us 6 and red 14 so and let me also show you in updates that this phone is not getting android 15 right now in the uh, software updates as you can see software updates down sorry download and install As you can see, Edward 14 One US 6.1 is the latest version for this phone, and it's not getting One US 7 Android 15 right now. So we're gonna manually install official Android 15 on this phone. So without any further ado, let's get to it. Okay, for this process to install One US 7 Android 15 on your phone, you need a computer, a Windows computer. Uh, at least running Windows 7, you need a good quality data cable uh, that should not disconnect while we are installing firmware with our phone on your phone. Because if it does, there's a high chance your phone may get ripped. So it's a good idea to use a good quality cable. And you also need to have a full internet connection to download your firmware. And firmware file is uh, somewhere around five to six gigabytes. So you have to download that. Now, downloading firmware is really easy, but you need to uh, know your phone model model number. Okay, the model name is Azure 5 f which is obviously simple, but the model number is different. And the model number for this particular device is A057F. We have to install the ex download and install the exact firmware for this model number. We cannot install other model number phone firmware on this phone. All right, and one more thing, one more thing. And you have to go to settings. All right in your accounts and backups manage accounts and you have to remove all of those accounts all right simply just by clicking on that and then clicking on remove account as simple as that we have to remove all of this because if you don't remove any of this account and there's any of the account left uh, after in, when after installing the firmware and updating it to android 15 when we will be on the setup screen the phone will be in frp lock state so you have to either enter your phone uh, unlock password or pin or whatsoever you have added as your unlocking method or you have to sign in from your google account and password so it's better to just remove all the accounts so that your phone does not get an FIP log so now as you can see i removed all the accounts here let me show you again uh, my account as you can see there's no account left and after doing removing all of your accounts you have to also remove uh, after also you have to back up all of your data all right because in this process all of your data will be Remove and after all the is simply just turning off powering off your device all right just power it off and leave it aside now we are going to be downloading uh, on the downloading firmware on our computer and preparing the soft the flushing software which is going to be using these are all official the something flushing software is also official the firmware we're going to install is also officially from samsung so let's get into the computer so here we are on our computer you have to open up any browser for me i'm using google chrome so i'll open google chrome and then you have to go to a website from where you're gonna download the official uh, firmware uh, for samsung phones i've given that in the description so here we are on the website now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into the search bar and then here you're gonna type your phone model name or number I would recommend to type in your model number it would be very easy to select so our model number was a 7 f as you can see we got the result which is SMA057F A0 Galaxy A05S we have to click on it now here we are now to give you a small uh, about section for your phone which will be with your phone picture so that you can 100% confirm that you that you are downloading the correct firmware for your phone. So you have to scroll down. And right now I'm in Pakistan, so I will show you in Pakistan. I already show that on my phone with the software information that my phone is not running on Android uh, 14. As you can see, the last update is latest update is Android 14 U. But if you go back a bit, 
and scroll down as you can see Samsung has released uh, Android 15 V up Android 15 V for two countries right now which is I guess Vietnam and Thailand so obviously they're gonna release uh, Android Vision when you're 7 for all other countries as well but it's gonna take time uh, it can take from days to maybe weeks or maybe even months so right now what can you do is you have to select any country uh, with the Android 15 so right now I have just two countries uh, you can go with Thailand you can go with Vietnam but for me I'm just going with Vietnam it's random completely it's on you then you just scroll down and then there are a lot of options from where you can download the best one is I'm gonna say is download from Sam for firm software and then you have to click on that now you have to click on download now as you can see download has started but I've already downloaded it so I'm not gonna download it over again to save time now this was officially from Samsung alright and now second thing we're gonna do is we're gonna download this uh, official a flushing software which is known as Samsung's Ordin. So I also give in the link in the description to download the Ordin from the official website. After clicking on the link, you will be directed to this page. As you can see, this is official page from Samsung. It's online download Ordin download.com is the official website. You have to scroll down a bit, and as you can see, you have got the download links. Now you can download any version you want but I will highly recommend you download the uh, latest version so we're gonna click on that and as you can see it's gonna be downloading it so we're gonna click on save and then it will start downloading it now as you can see it's downloaded and now we're gonna see it in folder and there we go this is the order that we downloaded and this is the web this is the firmware that we downloaded so now we're gonna extract both of these you can use any software you, mean you can use your windows inbuilt extractor but right now I'm using 7-zip you have to extract those files uh, so I'm gonna extract it on my desktop first I'm extracting Ordin because it's a small software okay there we go Ordin is extracted now we're gonna extract the firmware and right now the firmware is 6 gigabytes but after extracting it might become 10, 12 or even 15 gigabytes nobody knows so just we're gonna extract this and it's gonna take some time so we're just gonna let it do its work so as you can see now it's extracting so as you can see the extract is completed and now we have both of these files so just click on click close file explorer now we're gonna open up these flashing software officially from Samsung which is Ordin you're gonna right click on the software, click on run as administrator, click yes, here is the software, alright. So it's also telling you to make sure to de delete your Google account and Samsung account so that your phone does not get the in the um, FRP lock and also it's telling you to make sure to download the appropriate binary which we already did in version for your model because if you installed another uh, firmware that was meant or made for another device and you install you can first of all you cannot install it on your device but even f if you do phone will get uh, get bricked and it will not work so click ok I've already told all of those things and now also let me show you how much is the uh, firmware so properties all right as I told you 7.25 gigabytes so now let me show you what's inside the folder okay we have got five files I guess so now we're gonna put those files into our software so first we're gonna click BL and then we're gonna select the firmware firmware file sorry and then we're going to click BL Then you're gonna click AP. AP is the largest file, which is the main file, so it's very huge. It's like 90% of the entire space. As you can see, this is 6.8 or 6.9 gigabytes size file, so it's a very large file, and also, also the main file. So we're gonna click uh, AP selected, and now it's gonna take some time to import. Now AP is imported now we're gonna click on CP to import CP and then we're gonna cl double click CP now CP is also imported now we're gonna click CSC now we're gonna select the CSC not home CSC just CSC so we're gonna double click at 
now as you can see all of these have effects which means they are successfully imported on the software software is completely prepared now we're going to prepare our phone for flushing now we are back and we are going to prepare our phone right now for flushing already our phone is powered off as you can see now what we're going to do is we're going to grab our cable and we're going to put we're going to connect the one end to our computer all right and now we're going to boot our phone into um, downloading mode and for to for to do that you're going to press both volume up and down buttons together and when you are pressing both buttons together you're going to insert the usb cable and make sure the usb cable is inserted on the uh, its other end is inserted in the usb port of your computer so we're going to press volume up and down button first and then we're going to insert it all right three two one keep holding it all oh, right this is the screen that you are supposed to see this is the warning screen all right now what we're going to do is just press volume up once Once you do that, you're gonna see uh, it is added and shown in the software. All right, so now what we're gonna do, we're just gonna put it right here so that you can see it, see the phone in front of you guys as well. And now what we just can do is simply just click on start. All right, three, two, one, start. Now the flashing has started as you can see on top, and also you can see it the progress on your phone or oh, here's it so it's gonna take some time so now it's about to complete we can see it on our phone as well okay so reset pass now it's now it's completed now phone will restart and start to raise its previous data so as you can see now the phone is restarting after the raising you can remove the data cable and disconnect your computer and the computer work is then completely done all right as you can see now it's raising the previous data and we are good to go now we can successfully and remove the data cable and the work of our computer is completed now our phone will restart a few times and then we will be greeted with the welcome screen of one us 7 and word 15. so here's the welcome screen of one us 7 as you can see it guys we successfully installed one us 7 manually and 15 on our phone we're just gonna click start and we're gonna do the setup complete and so now we are completed guys now we're gonna click home you're all set now we'll be greeted with our home screen of one us 7 all right guys we can see the wallpaper and there we go one us 7 okay so it's telling me about the new control center this is notification this is quick settings all right so as you can see guys oh my god this is the latest one us 7 running on our phone which is not okay so in the software updates all right now let's go back and then about phone so as you can see this is the same thing as 5s we're gonna switch software information all right guys as you can see running on android 15 it's one ui 7.0 so we successfully installed one us 7 on our samsung phone so now i hope you like oh this is the vertical i think apps i hope you like this video if really then don't forget to subscribe to the channel like this video and i will meet you in my next video goodbye for now